Hi everyone, it's Raleigh, and today I'm opening up my kawaii box. And it has been a long time since I've opened one of these. You did read the title right, this is my November kawaii box. Uh, it looks like Canada Post maybe misplaced it for a little while. Um, I did check online and the Kauai box had sent it, so I'm not quite sure what happened once it arrived in Canada, but it is finally here. So let's open it up. Okay, and our first, oh yay, it's one of the do-it-yourself candy kits, and I have a lot of fun with these. Um, I try my best. This one looks really cool. It almost looks like a kind of pudding that you decorate maybe, so I will definitely do that in an upcoming video. It's one of the, my favorite things you get in this box. Oh, and here's one of the keychains. It looks like a little kitty cat and a banana, so let me get this open. So for those of you who aren't familiar, this is a monthly subscription box I get from Japan full of cute little items like candies, candy kits, cute little plushies like these. There's usually some stationery in there too, and I just think it's a really fun thing to open. Um, I'll put a link in the description below if you're interested. That is adorable. Oh, look, little candies. And these, oh, I made these actually in a, uh, oh, it's upside down, um, little bunny. Um, I made these in a, a do-it-yourself candy kit and they taste really, really good. Okay, next up, so it looks like, oh, little hair breaths. So beautiful coral minty green color, which is one of my favorites with pink with little exclamation points. And these would be cute um, in a little one's hair or even in a doll's hair maybe. And one of the reasons I like this box is because some of the stuff I keep, oh, oh, look at this. Oh, I think it's an eraser. Oh, I remember when I was young, I had one of these. Um, so let me just see if I can get it to come out. Um, but one of the things I love about this box, I mean, the biggest thing is just the fun of opening it because I love presents. Um, but also some of the stuff I keep, but some of it I, some of it I donate, but a lot of it I actually use for gifts for other people. So I was thinking that cute little kitty in the banana might be a good little springtime Easter gift for somebody maybe. What else? Oh, oh, I think maybe that these went with the hair brettes. So let me see if I can kind of undo these. I'm not sure if it's a bracelet or a hair tie. Look at that. So they've got the little exclamation points too. That is so cute. Oh, fun. I missed opening these. <laughs> okay, next up we have a keychain. You pretty well always get a keychain. So this one looks like it has, I love the color on these. So it looks like it's like a lime greeny. Um, let's get this open a little bit. Um, little happy faces, but then there's a little whistle attached to it too, I think. Neat. And sometimes I use items like this instead of bows on gifts. It's just kind of something fun. Um, some, of the, some of them I do keep for myself, but this would be a cute one, I think, to put on a nice spring or a birthday present for somebody. Very nice. <laughs> Try and put the happy face out. There we go. And next, what is this? Oh, this is fantastic. So these are little um, kind of post-its that kind of come out the side and they're little pandas and some of them have bamboo. And this is kind of timely. I've been on vacation and one of the things I did was I went to the Toronto Zoo and one of the special exhibits they have right now is little pandas. So that's amazing. And this, oh, this is like one of those little, um, I've watched a lot of videos on these little kind of miniature kits. So this is, it looks like little food, and then it's got some little bits in the top there. Some of those remind me of, I used to make out of polymer clay little Fimo charms. So look at, oh, you make little cakes and cupcakes. That is cute. That's the kind of good thing to have around too in case little ones come to visit. And stickers, which are holiday stickers, <laughs> which I'm just gonna have to tuck away till next year. <laughs> All right, let's see if there's anything else in here. I think there, so we got our flyers, so for Kawaii Box. And like I said, I'll, I'll put a link below if you're interested, but the, oh, a couple more things. Oh, look at this, it's a little pencil sharpener shaped like a slice of watermelon. That is awesome. And I do work at home quite often, so it's nice to have some of these little things on my desk to make me smile. And Oh, look at the pen for this month. So it's a milk theme. It's got a little cow with a little daisy in her hair. That is so cool. Oh, so I think that this is one of those that has two different inks. So it's got a red ink and a blue ink. So let me see if I can figure out how to... Oh, it's the ear. So you pull, you pull down the ear. So 
there's the red one, and then there's the ear with the blue, so when you pull that down. Oh, that is so neat. That's one of the reasons I love this box. They have so many cool, unique items. Well, I hope that you guys enjoyed this belated opening. I sure did. Please leave a comment and let me know your favorite. See you soon.